we're now going to create the controls for our rig. Um, so basically, um, we don't really want to animate the bones directly, um, as they have a lot of values on them. They're not like um, they're not clean, and that kind of gives like curves, which are just kind of going in from different places, which does it doesn't give animation nice animation. So instead, um, we're going to create controls. Um, so if we go to the rigging tab, and um, we're going to use the first one. Uh, an IK control on the arm. So, so if I go click create IK control, IK control, you can see it moves the arm around in an IK way. But um, there's another nice feature actually instead we can use, um, which is the limb control, which actually has um, IK and FK blending. So we're going to click on that one. So I just undid that, and now it's, so it looks like the same. But you see here it's now got an IK FK blend, so we can now blend on and off IK and FK. Incidentally, these controls are all like uh, configurable, so you can change the handle size on these. Um, so um, you know you can manipulate sort of you know the, the look of it, make it look look how you want it. Um, so let's just uh, reset that. So yes, um, so you know with all these controls, they're all like nice to clean at zero zero. So if you just reset them, they go back to the bind pose. Um, let's put one on the on the other arm. Like this, create another limb control, and we're going to create one on each each of the legs. So the legs also work the same, um, and one on this one. So um, actually, show, should show you how these things work. These are the pole vectors. So when you create, um, when you bend his arm, these elbows kind of aim at at these these controls here. So you can kind of you can do this and move them around and when you're animating it makes, uh, means that you kind of fix exactly where the uh, elbows are pointing which is, um, uh, helps helps the animation come out clean, cleaner. Um, now we're going to show you how to do the neck um, neck and head bone so we can use either the parent control or the orient control. The difference between them is the parent controls move both the position and the rotation whereas the orient controls um, just do the um, uh, orientation so it, it just rotates it so position doesn't change anything so I think that's all we need is, rota is rotation we'll do the one on the um, head neck and one on the head now every control um, has an offset group that's um, a um, parent game object which um, keeps it, it keeps the control itself at, um, at zero and so these um, these offset groups should be if you want to do parenting so we want to parent the head to the neck we need to parent its offset group not the control itself that way um, we can keep the same hierarchy. So that that's pretty much the character rigged. So now we are um, we will be able to sort of animate this character directly like this. So um, these bones, you, if you can see now, we don't really need to see these bones anymore because they're not going to be used. So we're just going to like turn off the uh, bone visibility, and um, yeah, and that's 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 how you manually rig a character.